hey this is your girl money nicole if this is your first time coming to my channel make sure you click that subscribe button also make sure you click that bell that way you won't miss anything on my channel because i do upload new content every single week so today i wanted to try something a little different on my channel and let me know if you like this okay i am doing a new thing called wig zaster to wonderful um basically it's like when you have a wig and it just looks like a complete disaster it could be the color of the wig it could be the style of the wig it could be both however there may be potential if you switch up the style or if you even switch up like the curl pattern or even the color because you know you could dye synthetic wigs you could dye anything now so with this beautiful beautiful wig this is actually a wig that i have already had um i'm gonna post a picture right here so yeah this wig this wig is that wig and that wig is this wig it is the same exact wig so if you want to see how i achieve this look make sure you stay tuned i highly suggest you wash it all the way through that way it can give you some pointers on some wigs that you may have um that you just do not know what to do so um with this uh wig it really didn't take that long to actually transform. I mean, it did take some patience because I didn't do it all in one day because I do get sidetracked. However, the payout is absolutely gorgeous. So, like I said, stay tuned.
So, hey, I've already um, placed my wig on my head. And all I did was darken the roots around the perimeter of the hair. As you already see, I already did that to the crown of my head near the parting. So now I'm just, you know, brushing out the hair. And now I'm going to take some dry shampoo. I know it's kind of hard to tell right now. But since I had put the heat on the fiber of the hair, it got really shiny so I had to dim it down with the dry shampoo and that seemed to do the trick so now I am just brushing out the kinks even though it is straight it still got you know a little netted up at the bottom but a quick easy brush slide through did the trick so now I am taking my flat iron and I am just going to be you know just trying to straighten my hair one last time you know since it's all my hair I've on my head I feel like I have better control to get um, the crinkles and dips of the wavy hair so now I'm just doing that from the crown of my head to the ends until I am completely satisfied but this step is completely optional this is just out of habit <clears throat> so just brushing it and I feel like it looks really really pretty I like the straight hair and now I'm just using the flat iron on top of the parting area just to make sure that it lays flat and not too humpy because there was a hump because of the curl pattern it was before and that's all I'm doing you know nothing too major and it looks like a completely different look So now I'm just taking my concealer and I'm just going to put this on the part just to pronounce the part a little bit more. And that is it. You know, really wasn't too much of an effort besides just, you know, just straightening the hair. And oh, voila, I am, I have went from wig disaster to wonderful. Okay. So, as you can see, I didn't really do that much to the wig. The only thing that basically took a amount of patience was just flat ironing, brushing out the curly hair. Because with curly hair, it's because it is synthetic, it will tangle up a lot more. So, you do have to take a little more time to get the kinks out before you actually flat iron the hair. But once you get in a groove, baby, it is smooth selling from there. And I'm just going to um, go in a little bit more now. Um, if you are new to my channel, I'm not really big on like wavy um, baby hairs. I really like the whole wispy natural hairline look. And I do want to zoom in on how I just used um, my mascara technique just to root the hair a little bit. I didn't drag out the root really extra long. Just to give me a little half an inch to like an inch. Just to blend in with my natural hairline because my natural hairline, um, as you can see, it curves out. And I really wanted this to look like the hair was like naturally growing out. I mean, you, you know it's fake, but you know, the more realistic, the more effort you put in it, the more nice that the hair would look. Um, I didn't put any oil sheen in it because because of this hair, it was already shiny when I flat ironed it. And so I used the dry shampoo, as I showed you earlier, just to dull it down a little bit. So I highly suggest you do that if you do run into that problem. I did root uh, a little bit up here on top and I rubbed it in. Now the reason why I use the mascara method because it's easy. To me it's more easy to um, distribute in the root area and across the hairline because if you use like, um, you know, like the spray hairspray, um, you can't really control exactly where the spray goes because sometimes it comes out so hard it gives you like a big black you know spot and you really don't want that to happen i know i could use like a sharpie like any kind of like black or brown marker however that's kind of like the same thing even though you can control because it will color the hair you can't really distribute the color unless you continue to um draw the root out longer and you can't really like kind of uh, maneuver it to how you want to so that's why i use the mascara method you can control how much is on the stick and how long or short you want your roots to be. I also will post the link below of actually how a more um, detailed video on how I actually use mascara to use my roots, um, to how I root my wigs. 
So I do want to give you a 360. Now, like I said, I am no pro. That was a really big curly wig and it's <laughs> kind of hard you know, to get every single strand straight. But so far, I think I did pretty good. So this is how it looks all the way in the front. Um, now, I didn't do any extra cutting. I, look, I am not a stylist. I use some regular construction paper scissors that I had in the house. And and that's why I, that's why it looks a little choppy. It looks a little choppy in here, but if you were like in front of me, it doesn't look that bad. Like it actually looks even. So this is how it looks all in the front. Okay. This is how it looks on the right side. And I just want to walk in a little bit more. That way you can see the color. Cause it is like the color is still popping. It's still pretty. And this is how it looks like in the back. Looks like I dyed some bundles because it's still, it's not stiff. It's still got some movement. This is how it looks all the way in the back. Okay, this is how it looks all the way in the back. I don't know if you can see how long it is. Okay. Um... This is how it looks on the right side. And yeah, this baby ain't going anywhere. And I think this is so gorgeous. So if you want to practice um, straightening wigs, I'm pretty sure you can use this technique on human hair wigs. But yeah, that's it. So let me know if you like my wig zest. It's a wonderful wig transformation. If you want me to do more because I have some other wigs that I don't want to throw away and that I know I'm not going to sell because, yes, they're disaster wigs. Um, if you want me to continue to do this segment on wig transformation please let me know in the comment section you know below if you like this if it's helpful you know any feedback is good great feedback so like i said in all of my other videos make sure you stay beautiful and yeah i'm having some fun y'all y'all can tell i'm having some fun and make sure you stay beautiful stay focused and live every day to your fullest and till then make sure you like share and subscribe doesn't matter what order just make sure that you do it bye